Let's navigate to resource groups and find our resource group. Here we are in our resource group. Let's find our virtual machine and click on that. I switched to Visual Studio Code and created a terminal window in the directory of my project. Now I'm logging into Azure. Now that I've logged in through Azure through the Visual Studio Code terminal window, I'm going to go back to the portal and start my machine. A public IP address is allocated and my virtual machine is ready. You can copy the IP address from the portal, but let me show you another way to get it from your terminal window. For this command, I am listing all the IP addresses for this resource group and virtual machine. Here's the IP address and the allocation method is dynamic because we were cheap and wanted to save money on our project. Next, we're using secure copy to transfer the files from our web app directory to our virtual machine. Next, we'll be prompted to log in and you may receive a fingerprint message. Just type yes to agree. And did you know that you may have to manually type in your password because copy and paste apparently did not work for me. After logging in, you'll see an exciting display of file transfer. Let's run the secure shell command to remotely connect to our virtual machine using our username and password. Let's navigate to our web app directory and then we're going to go ahead and list the contents and you can see everything has copy over. After you're done playing with your virtual machine, don't forget to go to the portal and stop it.